Hey, what's up guys? This is GoPro's new Hero 4. This is the Black Edition coming in at $499, which is a significant difference than last year's 3 Plus model, which was $399. So real quick, let's just take a look at the camera itself. Let's start off with what comes in the box. We have the GoPro itself, and then we have the case. It's already in its waterproof case. We have some pamphlets, some directions, and things like that. Then we have these attachments and elbows and some mounts so you can mount it to different things. It doesn't come with the remote, um, but we're just stuck with these mounts here. It also does come with a different housing for the back that allows you just to uh, have some airflow going to the camera um, itself. So real quick, let's look at the Hero and see the differences because there are quite a bit of differences even though they are the same size as the 3, three Plus Black Edition, um, but there are a few changes. For one, on top is the microphone now, and yes, yeah, so the microphone's on top, and I heard the audio is a lot better. We'll go ahead and do an audio test on that here in one second. On the side, we now have a wrench, and on that wrench, this go, helps you to go through settings. They no longer have that Wi-Fi button on the side, so I might like that, I might not like that. On, on the front, we still have the mode, and as you can see, the two LED lights are gone now, and those are kind of incorporated up here into the screen. But besides that, if we look on the back, we no longer have the battery on the back. It's actually on the bottom. And it's kind of a different slide out here. It just pops open like that, goes in, slide out, and then that battery pulls right out just like that. So. And the battery is not the same. That's kind of a disappointment because it's the same size camera, but it's a different size battery. So all those batteries that I bought for the 3 Plus are no longer going to work with this new one. And it's on the bottom. I'm not sure if I like the battery on the bottom. Um, on the back, at least if it's in a case or a housing, not this housing, but a different housing, you can still pop off the battery, put a new battery in there without having to take everything apart. Over on the side, we have another, I'm not sure if this is another microphone area, but it's, uh, it looks like a microphone, and the audio has definitely improved. Um, we have the same HDMI uh, mini output and the SD card. It does take a micro SD card, just like the 3 Plus did, capable of up to 64 gigabytes. And then we have the uh, this micro USB port, which you can hook up a microphone to it, um, which, I think the audio is pretty good to where we won't need to do that. So we'll go ahead and turn on the Hero 4 and it's a screen similar to what you're used to looking at. We can go through the settings and the single shot, the frames, the video. And the biggest thing, the biggest improvement I'd say for the Hero 4 Plus or the Hero 4 Black Edition is the 4K by 30 frames per second. The 3 Plus could only shoot at 4K by 15 frames per second, but now the, the new one can shoot at 4K at 30 frames, frames per second or at 24 frames per second. So you're gonna get some really good, you know, shots there in 4K. Now also it does do 1080 at 120 frames per second, which I'll show here in just one second. And that's gonna give you that super slow motion to where it's not gonna be like lagging and make you look like you know it's cutting in and out it's just gonna be like smooth motion so that's a definite plus um, now they do have they did release three different cameras they have the hero 4 black they have the hero 4 silver and then they just have like the GoPro hero uh, 4 which it starts at a hundred and I think it's hundred and twenty or hundred thirty dollars which isn't bad it will only do 1080 by 30 frames per second but a lot of times that might be what you need you know you might not need that 4k now if we move up to the silver then the silver actually has a screen on the back and you can notice this one doesn't have a screen on the back and that's okay but i think they should have made the same price um one with the screen one has better video qualities for the same price because not having that screen can kind of be a disappointment you still can connect via wi-fi and bluetooth with this and you can view it right from your tablet or smart device but having that screen on there is a plus you can always buy an external screen to slap on the back there. And the one from uh, that fits this one actually will fit the new one too. So that's fine. Um, the cases, it fits in the cases identical. I can take my 3 Plus out here and I can put the Hero 4 
in there and it fits identical so why they moved all these buttons around i'm really not sure but it's going to take a little bit more getting used to now when we go through some of the settings on the gopro hero 4 their settings has changed quite a bit i mean there's more settings there's more options um, adjusting iso and protune so there's a lot more settings and capabilities when you're shooting now and there's a lot more menus that come with that but that's okay another cool thing that they came out with was the time lapse mode for nighttime so at nighttime this has some super long exposures and you can get some really awesome uh, night viewing capabilities things like that and take pictures of the uh, the environment and things like that so that's that's a pretty cool feature and I'm sure that they've improved on low light and I'll get some low light examples of what you can expect from that but overall it's a pretty nice camera it's a little bit more expensive but that's kind of geared towards maybe the professionals or people who really need that 4k by 30 frames per second um, so with that being said let's go ahead and check out some of this footage All right, guys, so this is what the audio from the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition sounds like. As you can see, it is, it's fantastic. I mean, compared to other built-in microphones, this one definitely has one of the best considering the size. It's so small, but the audio is definitely usable and can definitely get away with using it, especially for whatever. I mean, it sounds really, really good. Let me turn it this way, and you see these tennis players behind me see if you can hear any noise from them okay now they want to get all quiet but you can see the audio is really good on this uh, hero 4 black edition <laughs> 